2024 is already shaping up to be a great year for the field of robotics. Three members of Stanford University collaborated with Google to create an astounding piece of tech called Mobile Aloha. From frying chicken to wiping spills on a kitchen counter and plugging a device into an outlet, this autonomous robot does day-to-day -day house chores. The bright minds behind the project, Zipeng Fu, Tony Zhao, and Chelsea Finn, made what I like to think of as the first budget-friendly, almost humanoid. With as little as $32,000, the student researchers managed to acquire the parts for creating this robot, including the circuit board and power supply devices. Looking at the cost of producing this robot, it makes you wonder how three scholars at Stanford managed to pull this off and what the performance of a low-budget humanoid may eventually look like. Everything you need to know about this new robot will be laid bare in this video, so be sure to watch to the end. A good place to start is how this robot works. Aloha appears to know way too much like where to find the frying pan in the kitchen cabinet, how much seasoning to add to the chicken, and when the meal is cooked. Well, the researchers used a unique training method called imitation learning. Humans walk the robot through routine tasks by repeatedly demonstrating it using teleoperation. Although teleoperation isn't a new practice in robotics, leveraging it to train robots to perform tasks at this level of dexterity and mobility is where the scholar's ingenuity shines through. In case you don't know what we're talking about, teleoperation is the act of remotely controlling a robot from a distance. By mimicking the movements of a human operating the robot via the teleop center, the robot gathers data about how it should carry out these different tasks. The bot can be divided into two parts. The first part is the mobile teleoperation system where the training happens. The developers use this console to show the robot how to perform desired tasks, while the other half of its body possesses the limbs and other functional body parts for executing tasks. The robot's front and arms also have cameras for facilitating teleoperation. So for each task, the researchers claim to do 50 repetitions. For the robot to be trained properly, the students had to recruit experts to make perfect demonstrations of the tasks. Now this isn't very practical because your average user may not be able to provide flawlessly accurate demonstrations for the robot. That being said, the researchers are working on optimizing the training process so Aloha can learn from not so perfect examples. After that, the team proceeded to the training stage using the acquired data. And in the process, they noticed that co-training the robot yielded better results. What do I mean by co-train? Basically, instead of training the robot with a single stream of data that demonstrates the entire steps for carrying out from start to finish, they categorized the data into tabletop manipulation tasks and mobile tasks. For example, cooking a meal involves a combination of hand coordination actions like chopping onions and movements around the kitchen to fetch and move cooking utensils. Essentially, the Stanford students trained their robot using these two separate datasets. With the co-training method, they saw an improved success rate of 90%. The bot had no problem executing high-level tasks like storing objects in a kitchen cabinet, cooking a piece of shrimp, washing a lightly used pan, and even using an elevator. Let's shift gears a bit and take a look at Mobile Aloha's performance. If you still want to dig deeper into the inner workings, you can check out the paper released by the researchers. The students provided many demonstrations of the robot acting in teleoperation mode and autonomously. Let's start with the autonomous mode. Here, the robot wears a chef's hat, sautéing and serving a single piece of shrimp. The first thing that got my attention was the robot's dexterity. Even with pincers for hands, the Aloha still grabs and drops objects without breaking a sweat. Now, the speed isn't so impressive, but we must not forget that this robot is an early development, the very first iteration in this case. At this point, accuracy is prioritized over speed. As the field of robotics advances, we'll see humanoids perform more complex tasks at increasing speeds. In the next video, the robot wipes a wine spill off the counter, and the hand coordination is amazing. But some of its movements weren't very smooth, like the part where the robot drops the cloth on the table. We see it inching downwards in small increments instead of having a smooth down motion. Like the speed, the robot's fluidness could also be improved. And here we see the robot calling and entering an elevator. How sophisticated is that? 
It's hard to miss the robot's adept mobility on this one. It's moving on a study, well-balanced mobile base called a tracer, which you'll find in a warehouse for moving heavy things around. Here, Aloha rinses a dirty pan by running it through water from a kitchen faucet. I must say that this particular video induced some anxiety, as I couldn't help but fear that the water might get into the robot's circuits and send sparks flying. The researchers also successfully tested the robot on tasks it wasn't trained for. They only showed Aloha how to push the seats back into position three times and the robot got the hang of it. With teleoperation, the humanoid performed much more complex tasks than expected, like cooking a three-course meal. Now, this video looks sped up so we can't tell if it moves faster in teleop mode. That aside, Aloha looks very comfortable sautéing and serving that chicken. For the third course meal, its handling of the appliances is spending. Another clip that got my attention is the one where Aloha shaves a guy's chin. How this guy has the guts to get a shave from a robot in development while still looking so calm about it is beyond me. The examples of Aloha automatically carrying out tasks without human interference are more intriguing to watch than the ones in teleoperation mode. But teleoperation is more useful than we think. Robots operating in this mode can be dispatched in place of humans to complete tasks in life-threatening situations. Teleoperation is currently applied in many industries for these exact reasons. People control robots remotely for search and rescue missions. They are also used in the nuclear, pharmaceutical and research sectors for high-risk site operations. Teleops has even more use cases in space exploration, mining, underwater vehicles, forestry, agriculture, surveillance and surgery. The best thing about Aloha is its affordable price. While robotics companies have designed humanoids marketed as housekeepers for the past decade, this is the first time a robot will be developed at an affordable cost for an average household. If mass-produced, the researchers say that the robot could sell for as low as $2,000. That's relatively cheap compared to other robot inventions. The Optimus Humanoid by Tesla, for example, is speculated to be worth tens of thousands of dollars. Elon Musk said Optimus would cost less than the Tesla car but sell for around $20,000. Now that's 10 times more expensive than what we're talking about here. While Mobile Aloha is for its price, it is still far from perfect. The developers opened up about some challenges the robot has, which they hope to improve on like the degree of movement of its arms. The robot can't reach low to grab items on the floor or inside a low kitchen cabinet. That's it for today's video guys, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for tuning in. The AI Wave is dedicated to bringing you the latest scoop in the world of artificial intelligence and robotics. See you in the next one.